Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Sorry we've uh, been slacking on the videos. We had a couple uh, important things that happened in my life. I uh, just bought my new house. Well, new to me, I guess. So we've been getting moved in. We've been doing doing all kinds of work to my yard and uh, just doing the projects that I want to get done. And uh, However, we do plan on coming back to metal detecting. Hopefully we can do some uh, water detecting here soon. Seems like every time we want to go water detecting it storms. So, but we'll get back into it. We'll find some good stuff here in the future. But this is just going to be a short video, guys. Um, we kind of just wanted to do a video of my backyard and kind of what all we find in it. It's got like a 1900s background. It's not whenever my house was built, but they they did have some old homesteads on this place. So, hopefully we can pull out something pretty cool. All right, guys. So. This is the first dig in my backyard. Uh, it's actually a pretty good hit. It's got like a uh, 33 to 30. Could be a quarter or it could be a large cent. Let's see what we got in the ground here. I guess maybe that's it. No. That can't be. Yeah, whatever that is, maybe it. Wow. I hope not. It is. Piece of trash. Very first dig. That's not a good sign, guys. Not a very good sign at all. I already got this one out of the ground. Came up with 13 on the Equinox. And, uh,. It's actually going to be part of a toy car. We'll take a close up look of this. It looks like it's going to be a back of a tractor and trailer. What y'all think? All right, I'll give you guys a little first person view of what I'm seeing right here. Pretty good signal, whatever it is, it's down in this clump. I'm going to take my handy dandy pin pointer. There it is. I see it. It's a coin. What kind of coin is it though? Ah, uh, it's just a memorial. Darn it. All right, got my first ring in here. Jordan right up here beside me. He's only six, seven feet away from me. He's rocking about the same signal. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I got a, it's a coin. Yep. I don't know what kind of coin. Man, I hope this is an Indian. Let's check it out. Come on, please don't be nothing but an Indian or something older. Are you kidding me, man? It's a dime. That's going towards the fence, Dad. I can't even pick it up. I guess this is the ups and downs of metal detecting. I dig this right here. It's pure gold. I mean... Beautiful looking in the ground. I'm thinking class ring or something cool. You know, you dig it out, man, it feels heavy. Nope. Just a piece of trash. But, I mean, the way it was, like, shaped in the dirt, I had every intention to think that was some sort of big ring or something, man. Oh, well. Random live dig on Dad. Here we go. It was a 76 on the AT Pro. I'm sporting AT Pro tonight. Just because. Just wanted to switch it up? Just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Oh, and my Garrett Carrot is out of commission. We was metal detecting in the water the other night. And I think I might have got some water in it. So I'm back to the old original one. That's not good. No, because I'm struggling. <laughs> and yes, I should have gloves on. Man, you, you seem a little flustered right now. Good old bottle cap. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm getting a solid 81, 82 on the, the Garrett. 
no matter what angle I hit, it's about an 82. So I'm thinking almost for short, a coin. Let's find out. Hey, if it's 25 cent, it goes towards the fence fund. All right, let me see your pinpointer. There you go, sir. Come on, please be a quarter. Please. I need it. Be a couple quarters for all I care. Yep, it's a coin. Yes. But it's not a quarter. What? That's not good. That's not what the fans like to hear. Are you kidding? Uh oh, is that silver? Nah, not silver. Uh and don't be a penny. Don't be it's a penny. It's a penny Are memorial. You? Here, let me see that. Find that for the next detectorist. Yeah. Alright guys, persistence pays off. It's not a very good find here, but we're getting in the right direction. Um, as you know, we've been digging coins here pretty much all day. And finally, I'm on to it. I got myself a wheat penny. Now, if you've never seen a wheat penny, here's a close up. That's kind of what I'm dealing with. The difference from a wheat penny and a, a, just a regular zinc penny is they're both a cent, but one's just a little older than the other. So it's still not very cool, but good sign. Here's a shame, guys. I like digging Tootsie cars, guaranteed. That was at one point in time a Tootsie. You can see the little hard plastic tires. I thought maybe I cut it in half. But there's nothing else here, so just a piece of front end of a Tootsie looks like. Over here, Dad might have the coolest find of the day so far. Let's see what he's got. Really didn't think I was gonna find anything here. You know, this house was put in well after the 1800s house. So you gotta remember, they had this foundation dug out. But anyways, looks like we got a pretty cool looking buckle here. I don't know if I hit it. Let me see if I can straighten up. I'll probably break it like I usually do. <laughs> but anyways, it's got some designs on it too. Maybe if it, if we can really pull out any design on it, we'll get a close up for you here. Pretty cool find. This is what I was worried about with this spot. Like we've said a couple different times, it used to be an 1800s house. Now it's a mid 80s house. But anyways, we was digging, we're putting it, he's putting in a privacy fence for here for his house for dogs. But we had dug two foot holes. And I told Jordan, we need to check all these millings from these holes. It's hard to tell what you would find. Because that won't, as we dug two foot deep, we never did hit but one spot. I think we hit virgin ground where it was never disturbed. All this other ground's been disturbed before you can tell by the color of it. But anyways, I just found my second awesome little button. And it's a oyster shell button. It's pretty cool because you can get, when you rub it, you can see how it leaves a white film on you. That's gotta be an old button there. That's probably late 1800s button for sure. But just checking around in these millings, out of the same hole here, I came up with another button. It's a little brassy button. I was hoping it was going to be a Civil War button. It looked like it used to be a two-piece button. But it looks like we couldn't find the other piece of it. But it looked like a star might have been in there at one point in time. Or some sort. Maybe we'll try to get a close-up. Maybe we'll be able to see it a little bit better on a close-up. But two little cool little buttons out of the same two-foot hole. So if he would dig his whole entire yard up two feet down... It's hard to tell what we might find. All right, before anybody thinks, this is not a normal plug for us. This is actually one of the holes for the post that we're digging two foot deep. But I wanted to show you what cool little item come out of it. Beautiful little marble. I'd probably say that's probably a early 1900s marble. Awesome looking marble, but also, in the same hole, checking the things with the AT Pro, I got a real high signal, about an 82, 83. 
unfortunately, the barrel was missing on it. But it looks like it used to be somebody's necklace. I couldn't imagine wearing something that big on a necklace. Maybe a keychain. But that would have been a pretty cool find if it had been all intact. So there is stuff here. It's just going to be deep. So every time Jordan's got to dig a hole for anything, I'd be checking it with the metal detector. All right, guys. So Dad and I ran out of daylight yesterday. And, of course, as soon as we did, I actually found this button, too. I'll go ahead and show you a close-up of it. But as you can read, it says pacemaker on it. I don't know if that's like the name brand of the company or, or what that is, but I thought that was actually a pretty cool little find. Let me know what you think it came off of.